In this video, you're going to see how you can recover a previous version of an Excel file, even if it's been saved over, if you're using Excel 365. So the first thing we need to do is check our OneDrive settings. So if we go to options from the start screen and then go to save, you'll just wanna make sure you've checked that first box that says auto save files stored in the cloud by default in Excel. You'll also want to check the next box that says save auto recover information and then choose the number of minutes. I've chosen one minute. It's also not a bad idea to check the next box down. Also check the box that says show additional places for saving, even if sign in may be required. And then uncheck the box that says save to my computer by default. And then click on OK. And then back on the start screen, just go to account and then manage settings and then scroll down and just make sure you have turn on all connected experiences checked and click on okay. Okay, so we'll go back to home and then we'll open up a blank workbook and you can see up the top auto save is off and the name of the file is just book one because we haven't saved it yet. So what I'm gonna do is just type in the current time for reference and then just save the document. So there's the time and I'll just click on save. And as you can see, it wants to save the file to OneDrive. So I'm just going to give the file a name. I've just called it test auto save file and then I'll click on save. Okay, now you can see up the top here that auto save is now turned on and the document now has the file name that I gave it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is wait a couple of minutes and then I'm gonna type in the time again and then save the document again. Okay, so I've just typed in the time and I'll just press save again. Okay, so the document's been saved again and it's still got the same name as before. So I'll just wait a couple of minutes and do this again. Okay, so I've just typed in the current time again, two minutes later, and I'll just click on save. Once again, the file has saved with the same name. So I'm just gonna wait a minute or two and then we'll have a look at what we can recover from the history. Okay, I've waited a few minutes. So I'll just go to file and info and version history. Okay, and you can see over on the right hand side, it's brought up a couple of options there for me. And if I click on the bottom one there from a few minutes ago, you can see that I've got an old version there. And if I click on that one, that's actually the current version. So if I want to restore the previous version, I can simply click on it. And then over here on the left is the restore button. So I can click on that. And that has restored back to that version. So you can see that even though I typed in a few more bits of information later on, and I saved it a few times, I can actually go back and recover that previous version. And once again, this was done using Excel 365 and OneDrive. 